All right. Well, welcome to your practice, everybody. I'm glad you're all here today. Thank you so much for joining me uh, for today's practice. You may want to have your blocks and a blanket. It's always nice to have that extra support along the way. And remember, choosing to have support is always a wonderful option. Um, you can get on our backs, as always, and we're just going to take a few moments to settle in. And while you're settling in and getting comfortable um, in whatever that looks like for you, whether your knees are bent or straight, maybe you have some cushion under the head or the back of the pelvis. Um, in today's practice, we're going to go ahead and just try to cultivate a sense of curiosity in our practice. Just as if we're just stepping on the mat for the first time or we're approaching any specific pose or action we're taking on the mat for the first time. Just having this curiosity without having any expectations or preconceived notions of what we want it to look like or feel like. And when we cultivate curiosity, we're able to create kind of this open space to see what rises up for us with our thoughts and with sensation and everything. So settling in on your back this morning, getting comfortable. Take the first few moments here to arrive on the mat, feeling into the points of contact that your body makes with the ground. Maybe feeling it on the back of the pelvis, the shoulder blades, back of the skull, and any other parts of your body that are touching the earth right now. Take a big breath in and exhale, letting all those contact points soften into the ground. Maybe another big breath in here. Noticing what the top of the body, the expansion of the belly, maybe the chest, exhaling and allowing the front of the body to soften. Let your face relax, release the jaw. Begin to notice the sense of the breath at the nostrils this morning. Again, this curiosity. Can you actually feel the point where the breath changes from being external, outside your body, at the place where it switches into being internal, inside the nose? Spending a few moments here at that transition point. And then in your next breath in, follow your breath up through the nostrils where it turns around and makes its way down into the belly. Moving up inside the nostrils, another transition point where it turns and makes its way down. And then let's take that curiosity further and let's just see where the breath goes as you breathe in deeply down into the abdomen and just see what happens. Feel all the sensations around the breath, the expansion, opening on the inhale. Where does it go? Contraction and softening on the exhale, releasing the breath back out.
asking yourself the question, where is the breath most vivid for me today? You may notice as we pay attention to our breath, it naturally will slow down. And again, this curiosity of the effect of the slower breath has on our nervous system. Slowing things down. Creating a little more easeful movement in the body. So just stay here with this open awareness and curiosity for a few more cycles of breath. And as we start to gently make our way into some movement Start by asking yourself what would feel good next. Maybe that would be a nice body stretch. And again, follow your intuition, maybe stretching, maybe some sways of the knees or a hug here. Just a few moments of intuitive movement as we start to get the body moving, Drop the knees to one side or the other. Again, any of this, all of this, maybe none of this. <laughs> but you're going to slowly in your own time, going to make your way up to a seat. And just find a comfortable seat. If you'd like to elevate the hips a little bit on a blanket or a block, please do that. We're just going to be seated here for several moments, so we want to be comfortable. And in a place where we can feel somewhat upright in our spine, we're not hunched back. Just a little lift in the heart here. Ah, and once you get there, just roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And then bring the hands in front of the heart today. We're going to keep the hands and forearms level at the chest. And we're going to start by just gently pressing the palms together. Keep your jaw and throat relaxed. This very gentle engagement, we're not going full force here, but I want you to just notice what engages when you press the palms together. In the chest and the shoulders, maybe in the back. And then we're going to take the hands and we're going to bring the palms to face. One uh, thumb is up, one thumb is down, and we're going to interlace the fingers together, grip the fingers, and instead of pressing, we're going to pull as if we're trying to pull the fingers apart. And again, soft jaw, soft throat. Notice what engages, what's becoming active in the body, and just move back and forth between pressing, palms together, you can flip the palms the other way, grip the fingers, pull apart. Pressing, pulling apart, all the while just this awareness of what musculature in the chest, shoulders, back, even and maybe down into the abdomen are engaging here. Just a couple more times, pressing and engaging. One last press. And then release the hands, roll the shoulders once more, up, back, and down. Let the shoulders hang down. And just take a moment to notice any residual sensation there. We're going to take our left hand and we're going to take the fingers and we're just going to hook it over the right shoulder. And we're going to begin to walk our fingers up and down just along the shoulder here on the just on that back side of the shoulder. Walk your fingers up and down between the neck and the top of the shoulder. And what we're looking for here is just maybe a tender spot. 
Keep the right arm relaxed and soft. And we're gonna find that little tender spot, something you can work with, nothing painful, but maybe just something that's just like, oh, I feel that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to press down gently on the fingers into that spot, inhale the breath, and as you exhale, drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Slowly inhale the head, release the fingers off the spot, press back on the spot or maybe even move the fingers slightly to one side, inhale and exhale left ear to left shoulder. Inhale to release, pressing down one last time, Take a breath in and exhale left ear to left shoulder. Stay here for a breath or two. Very gently here again, we're not digging in. And then inhale, bring the head up and release the hand down. One round of breath here. And now we're just gonna switch sides. So the left arm's gonna be relaxed, taking the right fingers again, just hooking it right on the back side of the top of the shoulder here and walking the fingers up and down between the, where it meets the neck and the top of the shoulders, just exploring, being curious what you might find. And maybe you find a tender spot on this side. If nothing's really tender, just find a spot that might feel good to work with. Once you find the spot, we'll gently press into that spot with the fingers. Inhale the breath, exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, releasing the pressure, head comes to center. Again, maybe staying with that spot or moving the fingers as you wish. Inhale, pressing down, exhale, ear to shoulder. Last time, inhale, bring the head up, release the fingers. Go ahead, press the fingers in your spot, inhale the breath, and exhale, right ear to right shoulder, holding here for a cycle of breath, nice big breath in, and a big breath out. Good. Inhale, bring your head up, release the hand, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Inhale your breath. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest and gently sway the head as if you were saying, no, thank you, just side to side. Gentle, gentle movement here. Bring the chin to center and on the inhale, just lift the chin back up to center. Take a moment, just notice that work there, what that might feel like for you. All right, let's extend our left leg out off to the side, just about maybe at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna keep that right foot tucked in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, come into a twist over to the right, left the left hand and right hand fall down. Stay in the twist. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, bring the hands to heart center, palms at the center. On the inhale, take your left arm, sweep it out and open turning to the right. As you exhale, come back into the twist, palms pressed together. Inhale, open the left arm out and up. Exhale, bring it back together into the twist. Inhale, all this action is coming from our torso and core. Exhale, press, drop the hands back down. Left hand to right knee, other hand behind you. Inhale your breath. Exhale, turn the head over the left shoulder, looking at your left toes, <clears throat> and drop the chin towards the shoulder. Take a breath here. Inhale, lift the head, turn to center. Exhale, right arm sweeps up and over, side bend out over the left leg. Take a breath here. Inhale, come all the way up, both arms reach and the heart turns to the left leg on the exhale. Take a gentle fold out over the left leg. Keep the gaze down at your knee or the leg or the floor here. Take in a cycle of breath. You can flex your toes back if that feels good. This is just a gentle little 
Good morning to the back of that left leg. Big breath there. And on your inhale, just return up and we'll switch our legs out, extending the right leg out, tucking the left, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> left leg in. On your inhale, sweep up. Exhale, twist to the left, arms float down. Inhale, the arms float up, halfway, and exhale, hands come to the heart center. On your breath in, sweep the right arm out and open, all the way back, that right shoulder blade retracts. On the exhale, we bring it back into the twist, palms gently press. Inhale, open it out. Exhale, bring it in. And the last one, go ahead, open up, take the breath in. Exhale, bringing it back. Drop the hands, right hand to left knee. Take a breath in, inhale, and as you exhale, turn that chin over to the right shoulder. And once it's there, drop the chin towards that shoulder. Take a breath there. Slow, easy breath in. Inhale, lift the head up, return it to center. And as you exhale, float the left arm up and over, side bend out over the right leg now. Breathe into the left side body, nice big breath there. Notice what you feel, what's happening. We're curious. And then we're gonna inhale up. Both arms will sweep up as we turn the heart now out over the right leg. And on your exhale, simply gently fold out over your right leg. Again, soft bend in the knee if you'd like. You can flex the toes if that feels good. Or you can take a softer approach. All up to you. Use that curiosity to help open up that awareness where our natural innate wisdom can rise up to guide us. Let's take a breath in and come on up, wonderful. Let's switch out over into tabletop. So something nice and familiar here, our cat cows, we're gonna get the set up here and then you're gonna start moving with your breath, letting the inhale start to arch the back. The tailbone and gaze lift, and on the exhale, we'll round it out. Press the floor away, chin drops to the chest, belly draws up and in. Go ahead and move with your breath here, adding on anything that might feel good. We'll take about two more breaths here. And once you're ready to return to neutral, and I wanna give you the option here of maybe setting the blocks. I'm not, I'm gonna choose not to use my blocks, but please don't use that as an indication of that's how you should do it. We're gonna be moving uh, between table and downward facing dog. Uh, sometimes having blocks under the hands feels really supportive. So if that's something you'd like to try, please go ahead. Otherwise, we're all going to just start from our tabletop position, supported under the blocks or hands on the floor. Inhale the right leg back nice and long. As you exhale, draw the knee to the chest, dome it to the back, and look down at the knee. Inhale, extend the leg back long once more. As you exhale, drop the toes and lift up into downward facing dog. This first time we're gonna spend a moment here, just take a breath in, maybe the knees are nice and soft. Stay here or option, inhale, lift the left right leg up back behind you. Stay here for a breath. And again, maybe stay here or maybe you bend the knee and you just turn the hip open a little bit. 
Again, these are all options, no have tos. On, if you have the knee bent, inhale, straighten the leg. Everybody, both feet on the floor, back to tabletop. Other side now, left leg, take it back, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest, curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, the left foot drops, lifting up into downward facing dog. Take a breath here. On the inhale, the left leg floats up. It does, don't, don't worry about how high it goes. If you'd like, you can bend the knee and maybe turn the hip open a little bit. If you have the open hip, inhale, set the hips forward. Exhale, drop the foot all the way back down into tabletop. So we're gonna go ahead and move through that again, but we're gonna do it with the breath. So we might be picking up the pace a little bit here. Of course, you always can go at the pace that feels good for you. All right, so let's inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, leg back. Exhale, foot drops, lift downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee bends, hip opens. Inhale, leg extends. Exhale, right foot down, bend the knees, tabletop. Other side, inhale, left leg back. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drop the foot, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, extend the leg, hips turn forward. Exhale, left foot down, bend the knees, tabletop. One more time, maybe a little bit quicker this time. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, foot drops, downward facing dog. Inhale, leg up. Exhale. Bend knee, open the hip. Inhale, extend the right leg out. Exhale, drop the foot, drop the knees. Inhale, right to the other side, left leg back. Inhale, curl in. Or sorry, exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drop the foot, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, return the leg out long. Exhale, take it back, drop the knees. Inhale, glide forward. Exhale, float down to the belly. Take a cobra, inhale. Exhale, press it back. Child's pose, spread the knees a little bit, make room for the belly, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. <sighs> Go ahead and bring yourself back up to table. Grab one or both of your blocks. We're gonna place the blocks between our shins and we're gonna to come to sit back here. So depending on how your knees feel, you might need to have a little bit more elevation by having two blocks or maybe you wanna add a blanket or anything that can support you to just seat, sit here. And this is just a very, very gentle quad opener as we sit here. So take a breath in and as you exhale, allow the shoulders to fall away from your ears. What do you notice happening maybe with the heartbeat right now after some active movement? Inhale, take the arms out to the sides. If you're giving somebody, you wanna give somebody a big hug, shoulder blades come back together. As you exhale, cross the right arm across the chest, let the left arm come underneath and hook behind the whole arm so that the left palm is facing your face. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, turn your head to the left and drop the chin towards the left shoulder. Soft, even breath here.
As you inhale, we're going to lift the chin, the head turns to center, and we're going to open up those arms. Release, big, big stretch, open. Other side now, exhale. Cross the left arm over, hook the right hand back behind that left arm with the right palm facing you, gently drawing that towards you to open up that left shoulder. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, turn the gaze to the right and drop the chin towards the right shoulder. Again, we're not aggressive here, just starting to maybe feel a little bit of tug around the back of the shoulder, maybe into the neck a little bit. Again, be curious. Take an inhale, everything comes back to center. And then we're just gonna release everything down. Take the shoulders up, back and down a few times. And then here we go, we're gonna lift up, inhale, take those arms up. And as you exhale, open up, your choice, cactus or just let the arms float back, lifting the heart here. We're going to hold like this for a breath, feeling open and spacious. You can keep the chin dropping towards the chest to help support the back of the neck here. Breathe, big breath in. Ah, and exhale it out. On your inhale, take the arms back up. Exhale, bring the hands back down to the mat. I'm going to go ahead and take that block out. Move it back out here to the front of the mat, out of the way. And we're gonna glide forward, come back down onto the belly. Separate the feet just a little bit. And we're gonna take three cobra here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Let's make one more. Inhale to Cobra, maybe we go a little higher, your choice. And as you exhale, slowly, gently make your way back, sweep the big toes towards one another and just take a child's pose here. Lengthen out, take a breath here. Alrighty, let's come back into tabletop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my blocks out here in front of the mat, because I'm gonna use them for support in a little bit. So just have them handy somewhere within reach at the top of your mat. And when you're ready, of course you may be using your blocks right now for some support, some lift. We're gonna bring the right foot forward and we're gonna come into a lunge. We're gonna inhale and sweep the arms up. As you exhale, we're gonna keep the lower body as it is and we're gonna slowly float the arms, bring the torso forward and reach up and back with the arms, back and forth. But we're moving as if we're flowing through water or even molasses. Let the movement follow the slow pace of the breath. Exhale, take it all the way down. Inhale it up. Not worried about where we're going. It's more about the actual movement itself. Exhale, all the way back, reaching up and back. And then we're gonna inhale up. And then exhale, maybe bring your hands to those blocks, tucking the back toes, lift the back knee. Take a breath in and as you exhale, drop your back heel. Coming up to a straight leg reverse warrior. Inhale, the arms cartwheel, the knee straightens. We reach up and back. And as we exhale, we're gonna turn those right toes and come to face the side of our mat. And we're gonna turn the toes out. Heels are gonna be in. Bend the knees, let the hands come down. Support yourself in a supported goddess pose. 
So we're letting the knees track in the same direction as the feet, press into the hands to lift the heart. This might be better seen from the side. So I'm just going to switch here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do some cat cow here. So as we inhale, we lift the heart. And as we exhale, we're going to just straighten into the knees, keep the hands where they are, chin to chest, dome into the upper back. Inhale, bend back into the knees. Lift the heart, exhale, straighten and dome. Spread the upper back wide. Inhale. Exhale. So do a few more on your own with your breath. Taking our time here. It's not about the end point. It's about every single place in the journey. Every little movement of the spine as we move between flexion and extension. We're going to end on an inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to straighten to the knees, come all the way up, just so that we can turn the toes in and the heels out now. Inhale, the breath, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, float the hands out to the side and come into Prasarina Padatanasana, or just wide leg forward, fold here. Let the head hang. You can place the hands under the shoulders if you'd like. Or if you wanna take the hands out, maybe they take, you can wrap your, index finger and middle finger around your big toe and just hold on to the big toe and gently pull yourself forward. Again, option, not a have to. Let your head and neck release. If you took the option of the big toe hold, Please release, bring both hands under the face, press into the floor as you inhale up halfway. Place the right hand right under the face and as you exhale, take a twist towards the back of the mat to the left, let the left arm reach up. And then on your next inhale, bring that left arm out above your head by your ear. Breathe here. Inhale, take the arm up to the sky. Exhale, sweep that arm down, pivot back to the top of the mat into the lunge. Hands on the blocks if you have them. Back knee stays lifted. Inhale, twist to the right. Right arm up. Keep that back knee active and lifted. Breathe in here, and as you exhale, sweep the hand down and back. We turn the heart to the mat, and right into the inhale, sweeping up to crescent lunge. <clears throat> and then on the exhale, right into a twist, left arm front, right arm back, turn the heart to the right. Take a breath in here, and as you exhale, we're going to start to lean forward and hover in the twist. Here's where we have several options. Take your hand to the thigh here and just stay in the twist holding. Bring your hand to a block out in front of you. Support here. Or one last little option, if you wanna to play today, just hip hop that back foot up a bit. Use the block for support and maybe float the left foot up off the ground in the twist. Wherever you are, everybody take one more breath. Let your exhale bring you back to the lunge. Wonderful. Place the hands on the ground or on your block. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale your breath here. 
And exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your heels. And exhale, drop back into tabletop. Come all the way down to the belly. Inhale for your cobra. Or maybe you want to take it all the way up into upward facing dog. Your choice. Exhale, take it back. Child's pose. Take a breath here. Are you curious? What's going on? What are you thinking? Watch the thoughts. All right, let's get ready for the second side. First, let's come up to the tabletop. Decide whether you want to use your blocks or not to help create, again, extra space between you and the floor to bring your left foot forward. Finding the low lunge with the knee down, we're going to inhale, the arms come up. And remember, this is slow movement through water or through molasses. Exhale, arms come all the way down, torso leans forward over that front leg, arms sweep up and back. Inhale, just as slow, we take it up. Exhale, all the way down and back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground or blocks, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Breathe in, breathe out, drop your heel. Straight leg reverse, inhale it up. Exhale, turn to the left side of your mat. Toes are out, heels are in. And on this side, what we're going to do is we're just going to, on the inhale, bend into the knees, arms open out to the side like we were doing earlier. Exhale, keep that shape of the spine as you straighten into the legs and reach forward about halfway down. So we're not doming here. Inhale, open up, bend into the knees. Exhale, reach it forward, straighten into the legs. So again, with the pace of your breath, back and forth. Notice engagement through the core here, maybe cinching in the waist, drawing the navel towards the spine, just a little bit there to stabilize the torso as we move it through space. Couple more. And on the exhale, reaching forward, take a breath in there, turn the toes in and the heels out, and then fold forward one more time. Press into the hands and inhale up halfway. Go ahead and take the left hand, place it under the face, and then we're gonna take the twist now to the right. Arm is reaching up to the sky, heart turns to the right. And on the next breath in, Take that right arm up and out, reaching out in front of you. The right bicep by the right ear. We're gonna inhale that arm back up to the sky. And as you exhale, sweep the arm down all the way to the front of the mat, pivot the feet, come back into the lunge coming right into a twist here. Left arm up, twisting to the left. 
Back leg is strong. Breathe here, soft jaw. Inhale your breath. And as you exhale, sweep the arm down and back, coming right into the crescent warrior. On the inhale, rise up. And exhale, take it into the twist. This time the right arm is front, left arm is back. Uh, what's going on? We're not judging. Take a breath in and as you exhale, start to hover, leaning forward. You can support yourself with the right hand on the left thigh. You can bring yourself to a block, support there, staying in the twist. And of course, the last option for play here, start to hop up that right foot, maybe float the leg up. Ooh. Coming into, it's called revolve half moon. Wherever you are, make your way back into a lunge either supported on blocks or hands on the floor, step back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Take an inhale here, full big breath in. <sighs> Exhale completely all the way to your empty. <sighs> inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, drop the knees, come to your belly. Inhale for a cobra, and then exhale, place the forearms on the ground, come into a nice relaxed sphinx here. Forearms and elbows on the floor, gently lifting the heart, lifting the ears away from the shoulders here. Feet are about mat width distance apart. It might feel good to gently just sway the hips a little bit, give them a little shimmy shake. Gently press into the forearms and draw the elbows back towards your hip points as if you could draw your heart forward between your biceps. Gently traction out the low back. Soften the jaw. Breathe smoothly. Take one more breath. Exhale, turn the elbows out to the side so that you can lower the nose to the mat and draw your hands back under your shoulders. One last child's pose. Inhale, press through table. Let your exhale take you back, hips towards the heels. Any variation of child's pose here, maybe you want some support under the forehead. Maybe the arms stay out long or even down by your sides. Just take a couple rounds of breath there. Cultivating that curiosity again. Not looking for anything in particular. All oh, this spacious awareness. What bubbles up? Remember, we're just watching, noticing. As you're ready, gently lift the forehead and we'll all make our way back to a seat. Finding a comfortable seat to start off with. And we're gonna revisit a pose similar to what we did at the beginning of the practice, only instead of having the leg out at 45 degrees, please bring your leg so it's right in front of you. 
And then you're going to draw the right foot in, left leg will be out first. So you may notice that the right hip might move back a little bit. That's okay. That's fine. Because we have the leg open out to the side, our pelvis and hip are naturally going to want to move with it. So don't fight that. We're going to take the right hand and bring it across, turn the thumb down and place the palm somewhere along the outer edge, outer in, out seam of your left leg. Keep the heart lifted and inhale, sweep the left arm open into a twist. Soften your jaw here, retracting the left shoulder blade back a bit. Breathe. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna bring the left hand over across the just going to cross right on top of the right arm there, and we're just going to slowly fold over that right leg. Arms are still crossed. Let your chin drop a bit towards your chest. And just lengthen out along the leg. Palms can be, hands can be holding around the shin or the thigh. Or if it's within reach, maybe even grabbing the foot. Gently pull the toes back towards you. Shoulder blades are moving away from one another creating some extra space in the upper back behind your heart. Breathe into that. Release any grip with the fingers and then inhale, just come all the way back up to center. Use your hand to lift that right knee out and send it out straight. And switching it out, we're going to draw the left foot in. And take a moment to make those adjustments in the hips here. Right leg extended out. This time the left hand is going to come across. I'm going to turn the thumb down. Lift that palm anywhere along the outside edge of the leg. Inhale, sweep the right arm out and back. Maybe looking out of the corners of the eyes towards that right thumb. May not even see it, but that's okay. We're still looking in that direction. The heart is lifted, the jaw is soft, and we're breathing. Take a breath in. And exhale, slowly bring the right arm forward. We're gonna cross over the left. Let the palms turn and maybe gripping anywhere along the outer edges and inner edges of the leg. Start to fold forward, chin drops. Wherever, ever your hands wanna go and reach for today. And again, let your curiosity wander around the body. Noticing vivid sensation, wherever that is for you. Maybe you're wondering what places are feeling open, expansive, using the breath Inhale into those spaces and make them even larger. Unclench the jaw. Releasing the grip and inhaling, coming on up. 
Okay, lift that knee, extend both legs out. If it feels good, give them a little shake. Look around you and see if there's anything you'd like to gather for your Shavasana. We wanna make sure we have that handy. I'm just gonna move my blanket up for my little neck roll that I love to have and make your way to your back. Once you're on your back, have your knees bent here and either just tick tock the feet out and sway the knees side to side gently windshield wiper. Nice and easy here. Go ahead and extend the left leg long and draw the right knee into the chest here. Give it a little squeeze just for a moment. And then we'll just release just a bit. And on the inhale, we're gonna take the knee out to the right, out to the side to open. And as we exhale, we're just gonna cross it over and tap the left hand. So inhale, tap your right hand, exhale, tap your left back and forth. Not coming into the full twist just yet, just inhale, open, exhale, cross. Stay within a nice, easy range of motion here. Out forcing. Next time you exhale, bring it all the way across. Go ahead and let that left hand grab that right knee and gently ease yourself into the supine twist and take your right arm wherever it feels good. Out to a T, maybe up high or even down by your side. Just try to relax into the shape of this pose. Wondering with curiosity what all these sensations are. Where are they? Keep the face nice and soft here. As you breathe in next, slowly ease yourself onto your back and go ahead and release the right leg long. We're just gonna switch it out here. First, we'll hug the knee in, that left knee, just give a little squeeze. And then just softly release a bit. And on the inhale, we'll take the knee out to tap the left hand. Exhale, cross it over, maybe tap the right. Inhale and exhale. Back and forth. Inhaling to open, exhaling to cross. Next time on the exhale, as you draw across, let the right hand help you come into that full twist and take the right arm wherever it feels good. Open the awareness, just be curious. Jaw soft, easing the breath slow and steady.
Breathing in, we'll come on to the back. Give yourself a little hug here. Move any way you need to. Might feel good to give that low back a little bit of extra attention. Be circling the knees, rocking side to side. And then when you're ready, we'll fall right into Shavasana, supporting yourself any way you like. <sighs> and once you arrive there, allow your eyes to soften. And if it's comfortable, let the eyelids close completely. Take a big breath in. Exhale, relax back into all those contact points like we did at the beginning of our practice. Back of the skull, shoulder blades, back of the arms, back of the pelvis and the thighs, and the shins or the calves, I'm sorry heels, the feet. Take one more breath into the front of the body, find expansion, lifting, opening. And as you take this full complete exhale, empty out and allow the entire front body to just soften back. Face and jaw, releasing, softening the heart, the belly, the front of the hips. The muscles of the thighs just releasing away from the bones of the femur. the shins and the feet and the toes, all soft. Rest here and just be Shavasana.
And gently bring your attention back onto your breath. And take a nourishing, beautiful, big breath in. Exhaling to let it go. Using your breath to enliven the body, reanimate you. Finding gentle movement wherever you feel called. Letting that movement guide you eventually onto your right side. And just lay here with a gentle breath. And that wonderful curiosity. Creating that space. A wide open awareness. To notice whatever arises. When you're ready, please come back and find a nice comfortable seat. Then going ahead and bringing our hands in front of our heart, let's share a final breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let's let everything go. And if you'd like to join me, fingertips to forehead for peaceful thoughts, to the mouth for kind words, to our heart for loving action. Always so very grateful to all of you every day that you show up and extend that gratitude to yourself. From my heart to yours, namaste.